Hello, dear friends, my lovely audience, my dear fellow Californians, welcome to the East West Show that is exclusively sponsored by Wolfers, the Belgium and Royal Family designated a brand of jewelry with 400 years of glorious history that is hand forged by 10 generations of uh, the greatest um, craftsman, which stands for a testimony of spectacular and the share of the royal glory. That lead line gives us a open, let's talk about the show today. With me is my dear friend, Mr. Ken Hemming, political commentator, a book writer, a philosopher who I call, uh, by the way, he truly deserves the, the title of being a philosopher. If you read his book, uh, Life is Simple, 100 Words to Live By, you would agree with me that he is a philosopher. Those are the philosophical standpoints I take as my Bible. Uh, you, my family, my daughter and my wife, they, they are still reading the book. All right. I appreciate it. Good, very good. And um, uh, today, with the, in the bi-weekly update, we're going to check with lots of issues that's been accumulated over the past two weeks. Yeah. Um, on top, we would like to re-emphasize that 4th of July is not only a celebration, right? Do you agree with me? It's the greatest day of the year, next to Christmas and my birthday, of course. Mm, very good. <laughs> and uh, I would like to, I make it. It, to make it a, uh, in my way, I, I like to make it a constant call for, for patriotism. Absolutely. And when I talk about the patri patriotism, I'm not talking about a slogan, a patriotic sl slogan. A patriotic slogan, only a slogan. When you shout, you shout. Right. When you finish shouting, it is gone, it is done. Right, right. right. But pa patriotism is the thing that is seeded into the bottom of your heart, of your mind. Yes, sir. Right? And you have to, at any given time, Show something that you love. You love this country. I believe every breath I take, Jack, mm -hmm. is is has a foundation of love for my country, our country, America. Yeah. On the exact night when everybody was out uh, watching the fireworks, yes, sir. I stayed home doing my homework. Well, you know you're what? Responsible. I, you, yeah. You know what I did? Tell me. I reviewed the film. The Battle of uh, Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima was a tremendous battle. I've known some people oh that have been there. Oh my God! Uh, you know, I think on that one, like 30, 37 thousand Japanese died, and about two hundred were caught because they didn't want to give up. Okay, mm. and we lost like nine or eleven thousand uh, U.S. Marines. It was it was unbelievably difficult fighting. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I've seen many. Many videos on it. Even those uh, those soldiers with the flag. Yes, sir. Who put uh, who, who put up with the first flag? Right. Three of them were killed within right the on next, the spot. Within the next three days, three next were dead. Three, two or three days. That's amazing. Uh huh. And among the three, there's only one left, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but yes, probably. Uh -huh. But but three were. I mean, it wasn't. You know, they didn't win the war and go home. <laughs> they, mm. they, put, they put the flag up and they go, go back. Uh, you know, getting shot at mm. and and, uh, and that, killed. That that is uh, that flag at that very moment oh, huge. was so significant. It's huge. It brought up the uh, the U.S. morality. Oh yeah, no, our, our morale went our mor way up. morality. Uh, not 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 the. Not the only the battle, but the whole country, no. Right, right. At that time, because we were yeah. we were so exhausted, so tired, so exhausted of the war, and while well, people, we, we kind of slowed down, though. Well, right. the the Pacific War was intense, mm. expensive uh -huh. in lives, uh -huh. money, and, and uh, uh, I remember 
When I first saw that film, The Battle of uh, uh, Iwo Jima, Iwo, Iwo, Iwo Jima. Yeah. Well, I was about uh, 20, 25 something. I, well, of course, of course, I, uh, well, I, I took it as a film. A film uh -huh. is a film, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Now I would like to, uh, to use it as a token to show my patriotism to my country. Yes, sir. As I want to tell you how exa exactly I was touched. I was convinced by the brave man and woman. Right? Unbelievable. By the young man back there. Right? who stood for the country. When, gun, when gunshots like thunders, when bullets fell like hails. They did. Right? You, never knew, you never knew which one is for you. No, that's right. That's a very good point. Yeah, you never knew. You don't right? know if you're going to have uh, one more breath or one yeah, more this, sip of coffee. This moment, you, you're alive. The next second. Just like that. Could you're be gone. gone. Yeah. One soldier. Shot, boom, that's a good one. Yeah. Right after the comment, that's a good one, boom. Yeah, no, I know. I he fell down, he was out. It's right. terrible. So. In one of the worst jobs on that day, uh, on that battle of Iwo Jima, were the, the guys with the flamethrowers that had to go into where the caves were, because the, the Japanese were all dug in. Mm -hmm. and, and literally, their, their average lifespan, once they started going forward with the flamethrower, was like five hours, because everybody wants to shoot the guy with the flamethrowers. I'm just laughing because it's so tragic. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yet yeah. they did it, and they were heroes. It was a revenge. It was a revenge. It was right? heroic. Okay. Because because we died so many, we yes. died so many. Yeah, and uh, just to put your shoes into the the the, yeah. the, the, the soldiers, right? Yes, sir. Into their boots, though. You ask around today, will everyone be so willing to fight like that? Well, I think that's a good question. I uh, doubt. You know, the problem in America right now is we have so many, you know, m millennials and r really radical leftists that don't even like our country. Now, there was nobody that was going over there to Iwo Jima and, and to Saipan and, and wherever that didn't love our country, okay? Mm. People just lined up the day after Pearl Harbor and said, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to fight and, and give by my the life. way, by the way, I recently uh, been having a big argument with one of my best of friends. Yes, sir. Right? I mean, we, 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 we became known each other for so, so, so many years. We're kind of like brothers. Yes, sir. Right? I appreciate that. Uh, we kind of like brothers. However, on issues, mm -hmm. criticizing uh, America, mm -hmm. right? I tell him, it's a him, uh, mm -hmm. that I love this country so much that, that I criticize this country sometimes when necessary, right? with the same love. However, if I come across any criticism that comes out of the mind of anti-Americans, right. I will fight against. Right, and also, you know, there's nothing to criticize in our Constitution. Our Constitution no, is no, the no. foundation. We're people. Wrong. Nobody is criticizing do. Constitution. No, but they're criticizing people. The Constitution people. is our supreme guideline our of foundation. this whole country. Right. The foundation of the democracy. And it's right? the greatest. Now with the left or right, the left or right thing going on though, we need to criticize, criticize it. Only an issue by issue, issue by issue, we're not criticizing the country as our nation. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. So anytime anybody tries to deny America, whoever does that is my enemy. They are. That's, that is my patriotism. I do have a lot of enemies in this country right now that mm. really are no, no. acting in a hateful way. I'm talking way. about literally the the rhetorical enemy because right. I can we kind of like fall. Me too. Right. So we I can agree on that. Right. You criticize it's, uh, same thing to China, my con country, my mother country. Right. I was born there. Right. Right. I can criticize China for certain issues. Right. However, if I come across somebody who wants to totally deny China, right, who says anything out of mind of anti-Chinese, I fight. I fight against him or her. So 
This is once again we call patriotism, right? Well, now in this country, I fall in love, fell in love, this country though, I belong to it. Yes, you so do. It is our obligation to love it unconditionally. Right. And just like back in the Civil War, okay, where brothers had to fight brothers sometime. One lived in the North, one lived in the South, mm -hmm. and they fought against each other. Mm -hmm. Somebody that comes to America from some other country sometime, if there was something, you know, uh, something uh, critical uh, that needed to be defended by our country, we'll defend our country. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many. Uh, We're so lucky. Freedom many is Philippine, so uh, Philippine Americans. Yes. Fought for America. I know many. Yeah. Many Chinese Americans fought for America. And they helped them in World War II. Yeah. If they Very need nicely. me now, I'll do the fight myself. Yeah. Well, well, of course. Looking at my age, probably I will. I won't go unless they need a commander or something. Right. We'll or, be generals. Or general. Yeah, right. Or, or admiral somewhere. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe an admiral. Yeah. Right, somewhere. Or otherwise they will just uh, give up. Yeah, or right. else we'll just get killed faster. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, my dear friend, my lovely audience, uh, in July, oh, of course, the biggest celebration of, uh, of, of uh, for us is July the 4th. And uh, celebration... Uh, is big, but I will not call it only a celebration. I would just make it a constant call for patriotism, a week of a call for patriotism. Yes. And in the show, Ken and I, my dear friend Ken and I, use the uh, Battle of uh, Iwo Jima to indicate how the fallen soldiers of our country l showed their patriotism in the most terrible way that a human, that a human can, can sacrifice. Pure dedication. Pure dedication. Pure risk. Right. As now it's our turn. I love them. It's our turn. Nobody should back up from it. Correct. Nobody should back off from it unless love this country unconditionally. All right. Let's wrap up for the first segment. We will come back for it after this short break. Stay with us, please. Hello, dear friends, lovely audiences, brothers, sisters, my fellow Americans, welcome back to the show. Jack Chow is uh, hosting. This show is exclusively sponsored by Wolfers, the Belgium royal family designated brand of jewelry with 400 years of glorious history and hand forged by 10 generations of the greatest um, craftsmen. That stands for a testimony for, for the spectacular and the share of the royal glory. Back to the show. Today with me is my good friend, Mr. Ken Hamming, a political commentator. Though a CPA, in my eye, he is my godfather. God, god, god brother, whoever. Yes. <laughs> okay, anyway. We're bros. Because I just, well, I don't, I don't have to uh, scratch his back. He never pays me even a penny. Right? Correct. I don't have to do it, but That's right. I, I do convince myself that he is the kind of role model uh, anytime. He says this to me. He says that never am I going to be offended. That's right. right? Nothing so I tried it several times. Yeah. I tried to test if he could be offended. Uh, I tried everything yeah. uh, except the punching on the nose. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, he never <laughs> get offended. I right? don't. Uh, it's an exaggeration, however. And man, this man, his uh, attitude towards life is Exactly. Correct. Life is attitude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In talking about uh, uh, patriotism to mark the celebration of Fourth uh, of July, we also have to mention our President Donald Trump and his salute to America. Yes, sir. Right. You want to say a few? 
Yeah, well, we all know that, say, in Moscow, uh, uh, Russia, in China, they have glorious military parades. Mm -hmm. And they're well supported by the people in the country and everything. And they're, you know, it's just expressing their pride and their strength. Yes. And so that's fine. America hasn't done that for a long time. We have done it over time at different points in time. Mm. And, uh, but it hasn't been done for a while. Certainly, uh, you know, not in the last eight years. Mm. And so President Trump wanted to have this salute to America, which mm. was, which I watched every second of it, was very well planned. Mm. And he really just glorified uh, the sacrifices and, and, and the talents and the mm. power of our military. And he focused on the, each of the five military uh, organizations, Marines, et cetera. And, and then they had this kind of, was so, I mean, in the mall in DC was just packed with mm. people. Also, mm. that's where the fireworks would be that night. Mm. So, I mean, mm. it was packed. And, and they had the most phenomenal flyovers of airplanes representing each of mm. the military uh, units, organizations. And, and then his words though, um, I mean, it'd be worth reading his words. His words were so well chosen, well spoken mm -hmm. and on point with, with the right focus on the elements of, of America that do make us such a great country. Mm -hmm. I was so proud to watch this and, and the people there were just really feeling good. Now, and when you had hundreds of thousands of people, it's interesting, there had to be de Republicans and Democrats. I think at that moment, you know, uh, you know, everybody was feeling the joy of, you know, of you, America. You know, you know why? It's not a partisan issue. It's not. No, it's you're right. It's never a partisan issue. Right. You're talking about your defense ability. Right. Your defense ability right. of this lovely country of yours. Right. Exactly. Right? So if anybody say that's a party issue, that's a my party issue, your party yeah. issue, though. Yeah. He is not an American. You're right, 100 percent right? right. So that's why, yeah. of course, I I, I I said this 100 times already. I myself is not a supporter to Donald Trump starting day well, one. I started to like what he's doing right, right? For this one, to call the whole nation once again to wake up, to recognize our own muscles, because right. for a while we've been kind of like. Uh, well, it, downplayed, right? Well, the, the military bit. was reducing its strength. Yeah, 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 in the exactly, exactly, and it, exactly. Just reduced massively exactly, in its strength. Exactly. And internationally, re rebuilt now. internationally, we want to rebuild our reputation. Yeah. The reputation includes our reputation of our defense ability. ability yeah. I right. mean, we have to deal with Iran right now. We have to deal with Russia, North it is Korea, time, serious it is, stuff. Yeah, it is time to, to really show our muscles. Man up and show up and, and yeah, just show let our people muscles. know we I don't agree. want I agree. we don't want anybody to be hurt. However, there is one thing I wonder if you agree with me. Yes. Right. Uh, in the ancient time, yes, sir. people fight with the rocks and the spears. Right. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Very brutal. Very ugly. Okay. 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 It just gives okay. me the heebies. And then later you have uh, better things. Yeah. Bows and arrows goes and rifles. On and on. Yeah, it goes on and on and on and yeah. on. Until now, you have this Air Force, Navy Force, yeah. you have whoever. In America, we have our SEALs, right? Yeah. On and on. There's now going along with the time, which is the IT technology. Right. Unbelievably, almost indefensible sometimes. I just want to, to pray yeah. that America never, never, never falls short right in that regard and in i think i think we did for a while and i think it's being re-emphasized we certainly you're have right. enough you're intelligence right. Right. in you're our right. country we were on top for quite a while yeah now yeah. with the 5g thing right right it is in question it is in question it is in question so it's got to be obsessively defended and and we have to be uh, uh, obsessively aggressive too exactly exactly in, in knowing what our other people that yeah. don't like us so much uh, are doing you have the tank you have, might have zillion tanks yeah, right out there on the ground okay that's right? not how we'll fight anymore but but you you got to know where to where where to shoot right yeah. right yeah and the intelligence the intelligence the the, the, the information, the reconnaissance yeah. thing yeah. are the are the only factors why they fight. 
Yeah, you know, a if, worldly fight. if there's right. wars or conflicts that are major, it'll be per, pretty much fought from the air. I believe, I believe, yes. Uh, I believe, or well, the air. You know, planes, we got, we got I know, I know, yeah. no, no, I know, I know. Maybe I want to add some more. Yes, sir. The space. Well, well, or, and we are or even creating cyber, the space or force. Or even cyber. All of those. I mean, it's unbelievable. Right? Yeah. So that's why my concern is that I keep on praying that the United States never falls short with the 5G thing. Right. 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 Next decade. Big stuff maybe, coming on. Next decade, maybe 6G. Right. Yeah. Right? I, it goes on and on. I can't even com com make comprehend. Sure, yeah. Make sure we keep on. Yeah. To have the, the I, yeah, to have the, uh, the, the intellectual power uh, just as much as the military power. Mm, yes. Yeah. Match. Right. Right. Match. Right. right. Good. We're right. at risk. Mm -hmm. We are. And uh, of course, in uh, at, at the same moment when we're celebrating this nation, when we're say this, uh, celebrating the birthday of the nation, though, there is some issue that I felt that we would probably have to mention, okay. such as the uh, September 11 payment. Well, it's Do you huge. think that's an issue worth payment, worth, 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 well, worth I just, mentioning? I just studied up on this. I, I'm staggered. I'm staggered with depression about it, which some people might disagree with. But you want me to share about this? Yeah, but, yeah, of course. Because I'm see, glad you prepared. Yeah, because this is very okay. Now, so people went to work on on, on September 11th, and um, and then we had the attacks that you know killed about 3,000 people, which is a lot, particularly if you're one of them, and um, and so they went to work, and then 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 firemen and everything came in, and policemen came in, and you know they go into the buildings. Now maybe somebody should have been smart enough to recognize that maybe something would happen to these buildings, okay? Uh -huh. That it might, you know, the tragedy of them coming down might happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I don't think they had the vision or the, the thought process on that. Maybe they shouldn't have gone into the buildings, but they did. But okay, so you go to work and uh, tragically you end up, you know, dead, okay? Now, so now they're talking about uh, I, I don't know what we call it, but payments to the families for these people that died heroically or stupidly. I mean, you do, you know, it just you just die, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just die out of bad luck. Take back, take back the word stupidly. Yeah. Say innocently. Innocently, yeah. Innocently, innocently is okay. good. Yeah. Say that. Yeah, mm -hmm. innocently, because uh, yeah, it's it's easy to do that. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I could mm -hmm. die stupidly. I mean, I know yeah, I can. Yeah. But if you want to die stupidly, yeah. go ahead, do right. that. But but, but right now on the show, though, let's yeah. say yeah. they died innocently. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and so now then they're talking about payments uh, that would average one point eight million dollars a minimum of 250,000. These are to the families of the people that men and women that perished on that day, uh, including in the airplanes and that, uh, up to maybe 4.7 million. Now, personally, I don't think the government, uh, I mean, those numbers are ridiculous. I mean, I might, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be willing to give up my brother or sister to get a million eight or something, but, but it's, it's, they're trying to value lives and money, which I don't think is the proper measurement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, um, so, uh, uh, now, now then when you contrast it, you contrast it to our soldiers that get killed in battle, they get, they get, a, a, a let's take a, let's take a short moment on this. Okay. Because sure. you drag me in the, uh, Soldiers who died in combat. Yeah, right. Right. That probably gives a little empowered this discussion. Yes, sir. That you and I it was will gonna have. It right? will empower it. Okay, my dear audiences, so let's take a short moment. We come back to continue. Accidentally, he stretched. I mean, this issue to yeah. drag in the fact that we have fallen soldiers during the wars. How much do they get paid? A lot. Right? Of fallen soldiers. Okay. Anyway, all right. Yeah. We'll be right back. Hello, dear friends, lovely audiences. Welcome back to the show, Jack Shaw on the East West Show, with my dear friend Ken Hemming a political commentator, a CPA for life, though.
he cares for the community community yes and he loves this show he's been on this show for 230 240 240 already 240 uh -huh. hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> I on love a it. weekly basis I recently love it. on a bi-weekly yeah. basis anyway you're talking about a swell well above six years of it's time. It's my tremendous honor. Right, very good. And by then, he has uh, made his mind his mind uh, open, uh, being recognized by uh, lots of my audiences. A lot of my audiences know him. And some, when I meet with them, they say, hey, where's the, the white hair, white hair guy <laughs> yeah, that looks like a Trump? Beautiful blood hair. Lo uh, who looks like a Trump. They, 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 and, that's what they and say. And the more I can look like Donald, the more happier I'll be. All right, very good. Uh, yes. Uh, we were at the uh, issue talking about September 11 payment, yeah. right? Uh, regardless of if you die as a firefighter, yeah. Or if you die as an innocent office worker in the building, yeah. uh, of course, life will never come back. Right. right? And the families death will never be the same. Death. death is so inevitable. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty vital. It is so inevitable. Yeah. For example, nobody will offer any kind of money to, to buy any member of my family no. away from me. No, right. right. By... From that extent, or by that measure, we say life is priceless. And it is. Never, no Not money measured. no money is paid to be too much. Right. right. From that aspect. Yeah. However, as a country, it really has its limitation. Okay. Has a limitation, right? And the country has history. History would give you a... A spectrum, how about that? Yeah. A spectrum yeah. of how much a life was paid for yeah. at different times right. in history. Right, right. And, and, and often the answer is zero. And often the right answer is zero. Okay. We were just talking about, excuse me. Bless you. The Battle of uh, Iwo, Iwo Shima, yeah. right? How much each soldier was paid for their death. Well, I'm not sure they were paid anything. If any, I mean, they there would be there would be some burial uh, a payment that would try to help bury the guys. Yeah, they, yeah. But they buried them. You don't. They didn't. Set, a lot of the bodies didn't get home. Do they me got a favor. Overseas. Do me a favor. Yeah. As my big friend. Yes, sir. Right? Do me a research of. Uh, I will. At the different times. I will. How much is a death paid? Yeah. How much of a burial? Yeah. Is paid for. Yeah. Right. And I know what it is now. And we will do. We will do a comparison. Well, okay, now, with as much as you know now, yes. can you indicate that we are, of course, we have to do it uh, sober-mindedly, am I right? Well, with an open mind, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Open and sober, right? Right, of right. course. Here the numbers. Yeah, they're right here. For the family of soldiers mm. currently killed in action, mm -hmm. they get 6000 for a direct death benefit, okay? Six thousand, mm -hmm. as opposed to a million eight for people that just went to work on nine eleven. Okay. Makes no sense to me. They get uh, seventeen hundred and fifty for burial costs. I mean, you can only bury, bury maybe one. Well, seventeen hundred is <laughs> you could just enough just, for, leg, for one leg. Yeah, one leg. Yeah, no, for I know. One leg. I hate to laugh, but it's uh, true. A friend of mine who has recently lost his brother, so he came over to bury him, right? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, not only a, not, not a term bury, just to cremate him. Yeah, right, right, Just right. to cremate Which him. Which is not cheap either. To bring, to bring him back in the little urns right. uh, to, to, to their home, yeah. homeland, right? Yeah. Okay, now, uh, I was involved because he needed somebody to help translate. Good job. Understand the system whatsoever. Proud of you. And, uh, well, at my uh, off work time, spare time, or weekend, I help him uh, with a couple of days with this thing. Nice. Right. <laughs> the cheapest way he chose, mm -hmm. right? Altogether, he ends up with 9,000. Yeah, well, you know, and that's not a rough everybody's number. got 9,000. That's a rough number I know. Yeah, I mean, not everybody's got it. You know, there are pauper graveyards. 
the the nine thousand does not include oh, a casket. Oh no. no. Yeah. Right. It's terrible. Just to take the body from the uh, county examiner's office. Yeah. To have the rent in some way to uh, a certain presentable time, a standard. Yeah. And then cremate it. Yeah. And then bought a little, little something, the urn, the urns, right? And uh, that's it. Well, Documentation fees so whatsoever. You, you, you know, the, and the processing uh, fees so whatsoever. The business of 9, processing 000. dead bodies and you burying them and all that, it's a huge business. I never I thought, I never thought it. it was that <clears throat> expensive. You know what I said in the very end? I, I said, okay, oh yeah, I decided I'm not dying because I'm You're right. too I'm too poor to die. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, and that, that, and see, now that's one point too. That you can buy insurance, of course, for your for yeah. your burial. I want to indicate. I want to use this to indicate. Seventeen hundred fifty is almost nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. It's well, nothing. not enough for one leg. No, it's 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 nothing. Oh, yeah. and, and then for the spouse, uh, uh, until they remarry, if they do, mm. they get about eight hundred and thirty-three to a thousand dollars a month. Now. You know that's not a lot, okay. Mm -hmm. And and now, but now if the if the gentleman or or gentle lady uh, that was killed uh, was in long enough to have uh, uh, other um, uh, retirement benefits, they would get their retirement pay, okay. But and then each child gets two hundred eleven dollars a month until the age of eighteen, and then you're on your own. There's no we college fund. We give the comment. There's no anything for that. We give the comment, not. Uh... Not without a sympathy. We're talking about a family oh, member yeah. is lost. Of course. Oh, of course, our sympathy. That's an irrevocable pain, yeah. right? So, so here's what's really, really, I call bad. Uh, a, a person can be a congressperson for one term of two years. No, no, no. And, no. Well, no, and their retirement will be 15000 a month. Mm. And, and they've done nothing. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's focus on the, uh, on the September uh, payment. September 11 payment. Okay, right. but that so. shows you how out of balance reason is. You know, that two years, 15,000 We have zillions of examples or, or cases who gets overpaid, right? Uh, LAWP, LATWP. Yeah. Right? Right. Uh, no, LADWP. The Water Department. The Water Department. Right. They pay over times, right? Which is about one thousand percent of the, of one's salary. Yeah, yeah. This and you know how much their pension is, and how much their uh, I don't know. So there are many many crazy payments right. we're talking about, right? You're right. Forget that crazy payment See, part. But that's again that's a let's government foc thing where they're let's over, foc focus on the on the death payment. Yeah. On the death cover payment, yeah. right? For that. I believe our folks who are unfortunately lost their loved ones during yeah. the event, though. Yeah. So with sympathy, I believe the country has done so far. Yeah. In, in one, so other, good. one other comment that I, I guarantee on 9-11, some fireman or cop, you know, died across America just going to work and they don't get anything. I mean, they don't get anything else like a million eight out of whatever. No, and no, no. so it's just no, ridiculous. No, no. By the same logic, though, by the same logic, they deserve to get more. No, they don't. No, no. Death, death is no. because because they died in a rescue. Well, I know, but you're but you're not. You're, you're paid to do your job, Jack. You're paid to do your job, uh, and so okay. you know, it, there's not enough printed in, on planet Earth to pay everybody a million dollars when you happen to get killed. After it's all, a risk of the job, all, and it's after voluntary. All, after all, yeah, is not a not a matter of natural disaster. Well, you which, don't get paid for well, natural no, no, disasters. I, of course, of course. Right. Uh, of sorry. course. W which is a, a force majeure. Yeah, right, right, right. So right. You, don't, you don't get paid for that. No. But it is, a, it is an attack, enemy attack, which indicates that the country fails to defend its own citizens. Well, how much do you think the people that died at Pearl Harbor got? I Nothing. Yeah. I, I, let's, let's do step by step. Yeah. You know, step there's, number one. There's no failure. It's step not number a one, failure. we confirm 
that they deserve payment because the country failed to protect them. I, I don't agree with that. I, I don't. I don't think the country failed. I mean, you know, failures, you know, things happen. Enemies are smart. They know how to get something done. And it's, it, it, compared to the whole country, it was limited, but a massive disaster. And I don't think you deserve a million eight, you know, because your, your dad went to work and he went to heaven. I just don't, I just don't agree with that. Because these other poor people that die in combat or that just go to work in Pasadena and get, get uh, a roof falls on them as a fireman or something, um, they don't get anything like that. No, they don't deserve it. The country did not fail. All now, right, maybe right. we should have okay, right. done better. You may disagree with me. Yeah. You may disagree with me as we But always, I like your ideas. Oh, thank you. We always have a uh, disagreement, even yeah. argument over issues. Which is healthy, right? It's healthy. Unless yeah. we, Public debate. Unless we both refrain ourselves from a punch on the nose. So yeah, we love we, each we, other. We, we love each other. Right. We're still good, right? Right. Okay, then we're still good. Uh, let's take a short moment now. We come back to continue on this issue. And there is a something, uh, a, I mean, a standard has to be established, I believe. Okay. Right. All right. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, dear friends, lovely audience, and welcome back to the show Jack Chow on the East West Show with my friend Ken Hemming. Uh, from Pasadena, uh, CPA though for life, I call him uh, a philosopher. He is my mentor and uh, well, by, by sticking to him, I learned a lot, right? And of course, by the way, I owe everybody of my guests and then a great, great, great uh, True. appreciation that I take this opportunity well, do the show as a chance of education. Yes. In other words, I could go to class every day. That's right. Even now, everybody is a mentor, is my mentor. So from everybody, I learn everything. Yeah. I learn, well, from somebody something uh, and accumulated it over the years, over the years, all right? Well, you so and your guests uh, educate each other and do your best to uh, uh, shine light on your viewers sure. with some information. Sure, sure. It's a beautiful win-win. Uh, we're obligated to Very do beautiful. that because while, while, while doing the show, though, I'm talking about I myself getting taught. Absolutely. Right, okay, getting educated. Now, to the point of the September 11th death payment, though, I still want to reiterate my position, right? Mm -hmm. First, I would like to confirm, I would like everybody to understand, as a show host, I'm the most, most, I'm the most, the one with the biggest loving heart to human being, to life. I right? will agree. Right. Any loss of life is a total loss. Yeah. There's no way you can compensate it. No money can pay it back. It's true. Right. So by that, I believe they deserve an infinity. I like that. Right? Right. However, I like you're talking infinity. about a country with a certain ability, with a certain economy, and you have a, a country with a history. Mm -hmm. Horizontally, you look back on the spectrum of history, though, you have to make sure people feel a little, some kind of fair. Right. Well, okay. You you know I don't really believe in that's the word fair. That's why we discuss it. Yeah. That's why we discuss it. Yes, sir. Right. So, he, with him, uh, we never we, we didn't get on agreement of that part though. Uh, the part being that uh, I believe the country pays because the country fails to defend you. Otherwise, it's not that case. And his point is that the country has never failed. We leave that no, part. I'm not saying that, but I don't think it's an obligation to pay. But 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 one interesting thing: so there, cyber activities 
will somehow bring down uh, electrical goodies or this grid or that or whatever, and people will possibly starve or die as a result of uh, you know nasty cyber activities. Uh, is that the country's failure also? Probably, maybe. But but do you think they deserve if they no, no. if they didn't have uh, uh, provisions? Forget a cyber. I'm well, talking about a military attack. Well, yeah. that's a military attack. That's a, that is a military attack. It is attack, a military right? attack nowadays. Yeah, military it's part attack. of the military. I'm talk talking about a country fails to protect its citizen from military attacks. Well, how are you going to do that? That's how, that's where the money comes from. How do you protect the country from military attacks? Of course. It's impossible. By fighting back. That's by, after you've been by, attacked. By, See, by, we by, never attack anybody. By knowing the enemy's attempt uh, in advance. Well, and you can't, we just can't know everything. But anyway, well, okay, but say, say, say that's what, what you think. What if you and I make one agreement today? Okay. The agreement being that we stop right here and come back to continue 10 years later. Uh, uh, I will stay, I will continue to breathe today. Like for example, uh, Ambassador Stevens that died at Benghazi, mm -hmm. he didn't get any million eight because, uh, because the administration yes, yes. refused to send Ambassador Trident. Ambassador Stevens. Yeah. Uh, right. Ambassador right. James. Uh, yeah, Stevens. James Stevens. Yeah, and, and three mm -hmm. other guys. They yeah. died and, and, and actually our administration then refused to send help because they didn't think, oh, they might not get there in time. Well, our America doesn't never do that attended before. help. Right, they, our they military, were ready to come. Our, our military, who was nearby, never extended in the help. Because rescue. Secretary That's Clinton why they told died. them to stand down, Jack. No, I take her as an American politician, and she was responsible for that. Of course, I know. But and they I'm didn't not get talking about. Eight. I'm not talking about her, uh, Hillary Clinton, as Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I'm talking her, a part of acting, the country, acting on behalf on behalf. Of the, of the United, United States. States, right, which fails to provide timely protection. That was am I right? Horrific failure. Okay, I told you in the very beginning that I'm not a supporter of Donald Trump. However, I did support Donald Trump when he swearingly said that she will put somebody in jail prior to election. prior to winning elections, I typically support that part. Yeah. This person has to go to jail for failure because he acting on behalf of the United States, which Let fails to protect James Stephen yeah. and his uh, entourage right, right. Yeah. with the necessary military protection. I'm still and they sad. die. Yeah. They die in the most terrible way. It was. That's true. All right. Okay. But so then you. And also, do you know the fact that they were attacked twice? Oh, more than that, six times, I think. No, no, no. The most dev devastating attack was the second uh, that, that night. leads to the death. Yeah, were two. Yeah, that night. Okay. On that the very yeah. night. Yeah, they'd been attacked. They before. came in first attack, yeah. because they hide, it, uh, hid themselves in, in, the, in the, the safe room, underground, a safe place right. whatsoever, which was with the safe concrete, enough. with the concrete, and everything was sealed. Right. right. wasn't safe enough. And they didn't find him. Right. They didn't find him. Yeah. They left. Yeah. Thirty minutes later, they came back. Looking around nowhere, just a mm, bang yeah. directly to the safe. Someone let them know. Someone All right, let them know. All right. Like right. I said, right. okay. Now you and I leave the job, drop the subject off today. Sure. We come back, pick up ten years later, shall we? It's a deal. Let's make a I'll deal. I'll be here and move on. I'll How be looking that? younger then too. Oh sure, thank you very much. <laughs> Hopefully, you would not advance your 1750. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. But it's not enough anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I okay. don't want that money. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah. Right. Good. And uh, uh, you remember last time uh, you and I were doing the show? We're talk about the uh, Democrat candidates. Yes, sir. Right. How do you see the second debate? Well, you know, it was kind of it ended up sort of being a debate between Biden and Kamala Harris, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, no, see, this is what's really interesting. Uh, Joe Biden had said that, you know, he'd been a politician for 45 years or something, mm -hmm. uh, and that 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 he felt that he was even able to successfully cooperate and legislate 
with what people at the time were segregationists. Well, there were millions of segregationists. They believed in you know, segregation. And, and, and now, and they're saying, oh, that's so evil. You have to apologize for doing that. It was the right thing, the only thing you could do at the time. You couldn't pick up a gun and shoot a segregationist. I mean, you know, they were in Congress, they were in the Senate, and they had to work together. So I don't think he said anything wrong, in my opinion, okay? And, uh, uh, and, and Joe Biden, by the way, gave the eulogy for Senator Byrd, who had been in there for 50 years. And when he was young, he was a grand duke of a, of a KKK group, okay? Mm. So look, things happened in those days. And, and, and Biden gave, you know, I don't think he should be sorry that he gave the, uh, the eulogy for him. I mean, the guy served his country for 50 years and whatever. And so, so now they're just trying to really do a Kavanaugh on Joe Biden mm. by finding anything you can. And if you've done 45 years of service or something, mm. uh, and, and, and you know, they can always find something that people can criticize. Mm. And when they have is their agenda and their goal to do a Kavanaugh on him and just, mm. you know, just attack everything that they can find that, that may, look, there's a lot of things maybe I wish I'd done differently in my life too. I don't think anything, mm. I mean, and I could be criticized for who knows what what you know i maybe I, sh I shouldn't have sold this house at this time because mm. it went up mm. so much afterwards all these little things but so so i i don't think joe biden's got a prayer to be honest and and he's at least the most sane of the of the people and we did have one person swalwell swalwell uh, uh drop out and then another now a new billionaire democrat that made his money as a capitalist uh as is is coming in with lots of money to uh to uh criticize capitalism and people that, that have money anyway mm -hmm. he made it the american way mm -hmm. he made it himself mm -hmm. i'm proud of him um but so uh, now there will be less people at the next, I think it's three, about three more weeks, there'll be another debate. And there Jill may Biden, not be enough people for two debates. Yeah, Maybe Joe Biden is in town uh, this, this coming Friday. Oh, is he? In, in two more days. Okay. Right. Uh, in Pasadena. Oh, well, that's my city. Uh, I was invited to come join the party, but I don't have the money. It's a fundraiser, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Fundraiser. Yeah. I was invited. I don't have the money. Right. Uh, anyway. Uh, wow. Well, I got to check on that. I, I, I'm not going to yeah. spend my money. But I can recommend you to, to go there and to, to, go, to go see him. I'll go to report on it. Yeah, well, you can have reporters there. Yeah, well. I would guess. Uh, yeah. I, I, anyway. I hope. I All right. Hope. Anyway, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, wow. Speaking of Good Joe Biden, life. though, yeah. I would say, I would have to say, well, to share with you my opinion, though, because it's yeah. still too early. Yes, sir. Still too early. Way though. too early. Among the 2025, Joe Biden is the one so far, unless somebody later pops up. Well, um, I think they're going to destroy him, really. No, no, no. They are just playing a Kavanaugh, a Kavanaugh on him. I know. Uh, over again, right? Yeah. So except that Kavanaugh thing, he doesn't have anything to be attacked off. I know, they just made it up. Tapping on a woman's shoulder, yeah, right. uh, uh, pat a little right. bit on the butt, something on the back. Well, Joe Biden has been men, smelling men, girls' men hairs and all this. Men often do that. Yeah, yeah, it's, well, and women too. But, but so, yeah. um, so we'll see what happens. I, uh, I, every single one of the candidates raise their hand if when they, they want to have free health care for illegal aliens. If they, I mean, That's if they continue doing so, if they continue doing so, they are not only destroying Joe Biden. They're destroying their own party. They are destroying their own Their party is image, destroyed. And yeah. by doing that, they are destroying the country. The Democratic Party does not support our Constitution anymore, Jack. They just do not support no, the no, Constitution. I don't want to give a definition that way. Okay. I doubt the... The game they are playing with the Joe Biden is the right thing. It's not the right thing. It's, it's not the right thing. No, no. Right. And, now, and Joe Biden now, is failing. By, now he's instead, going out and apologizing. Now he shouldn't of, apologize. Yeah, he did already. But he shouldn't apologize. He should say, hey, that's what it was no, at those that days. That apology I, was not a, a, a it was actual apology. Pathetic. Was a token. Was a token. A token, All right. yeah. So, but he shouldn't do it. He should he just stand up for what he's done. If you say that's wrong, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. If you say that's, that's wrong, fine. That's your belief. Yeah, sure. If that's you'd have been there, you'd have done the same thing. That's what he should say. The point. The point is that. United States, the America right now is at a point, right? We do have to have a strong party 
to balance with the left-right issue. But the left is not a party now. I know. That's the, the that's right. The, that's so that's we, the point. Look, the Democrats come back to a a, a, a middle ground. That's the be point. Liberal, that's the point. Ground, that's the exact stick point. Stick up for the, guard our borders. We take have care extreme left. Don't we have extreme right? We do. Uh, no, one uh, maybe one extreme right compared to two twenty thousand extreme left, Jack. You no, just can't say I, it. I, no, 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 no. I no. know what I'm no, talking no, no. about. Don't shift the ground. I'm talking about by definition, do we or do we not have extreme right? Of massively unequal numbers. Yeah, no, I'll just uh, just one is one. One is good enough. Okay, right? so that's fine. I'm talking about a fact. Yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. So now to keep the balance, though, the more we have the extreme, the mm -hmm. more we are prevented of going from going neutral. Well, because the, yeah, because the left is just going farther left. The left and the right is going too far to the right. They're not. No, they're not. They're not even going to the right. They're not. And also, how about the? They're not. How about the left in the right? Well, well, let me just tell you this, okay? The, the Democratic Party still supports Antifa. Antifa goes back to 1937 in Germany when, when, the, when the, they were fighting, the, 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 like the Nazis were fighting the communists, okay? And Antifa is a violent organization. All right, will anyway. be declared a yeah, terrorist let's, organization. Let's, let's, uh, let's control ourselves from going anywhere. Well, I don't want to get further. beat up by Antifa. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. That's why and, I'm always and, prepared. I know, thank you very much. And I want to just uh, refer to ourselves within range. We're... Uh, over by two minutes already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. I love it here. Uh, I love it here. My dear friend, it is always a pleasure to argue, to fight, to <laughs> discuss. Uh, or even to smear on him. Anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, uh, I'm joking. Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you for watching, my dear, lovely audiences, and we love you. Together, we will work hard for you. And to Ken, thank you very much. Thank you. For once again being with me. Uh, keep your nose up, up above will. the water. I love you almost ah. as much as your viewers. Oh, very good. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>